The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman on the seventh day of December. This is Thursday, and we're looking at the Dow. It's the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial. Oh, I, did, I missed the Tiger Financial News Network because I was so busy doing a whole bunch of things that I didn't realize the time had flown so quickly. Well, this is 10.06 and a.m. So the Dow is up eight at 36,060, trying to rally a little bit earlier on, went to the 36,150s. This is a really interesting moment. I, I can't, I, I'm going to do this right now. I meant to do it yesterday for my subscribers. I told them I would do it, and then I just got so busy with all the other things and questions that I'd asked, been asked. Two things. Number one is, this past weekend, just purely by chance, we were at the Tesla showroom um, downtown in Boston, near the Prudential. I uh, just happened to be there on the way to a play, and um, I saw the Tesla place, I went in, and they had the Tesla truck. Quite a few, you know, quite a few people uh, looking around. Uh, it wasn't that many, but it was enough. Ugly, 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 ugly. I like, I do not like sharp things. Like when Ferrari went from round to sharp, all the Italian cars did that. It just, I, I'm not keen on that at all. I love the roundness of of automobiles. So that, that but it is. Clever. There's no question about it. It's really clever. It's and, and one will get used to it. There's no question about it. But wow, it is big. It is really big and sharp, sharp edges. I mean, if you're standing close by and you get a little bump, you've got a hole in your whatever it is. Um, all right. Well, that's that. I want to get that out of the way to say I did see it. And um, I, I don't mind unusual at all. I like a contemporary design, but... I'm not a fan of sharp edges, and this has gone everywhere you look, sharp edges. All right, enough with that. Next thing is I promised I'd go through all different charts and show Chapman Wave support and resistance automated support levels, so I'll do that. So let's just run the numbers now. So the Dow made a leg E at 36,292, just above the 36,150s high that was made uh, five days ago, one, two, three, four, five days ago. And... Um, I usually do a vertical measure. In other words, I look to see what's happening here on the unbalanced volume. It's the unbalanced volume gave me a real nice turnaround right there that was on the, right there. And that was on the 1st of, uh, you remember we got that same turnaround on the 1st of August. The difference here is that the unbalanced the volume went overboard, but that MACD was still very, um, MACD was still very strong. Nine was way over the 14. So I didn't want to give any sell signal at all. That that meet, didn't meet my criteria. And what I was looking at was what would happen over the next few days if we make a modest new high and then we take out this first big Mirabosa candle that was made. That was, I think, uh, last Wednesday, maybe Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, yeah. And in fact, what happened, that would make 35,000 under 35,600, really important if we get there. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I'm calling this a process using time rather than price. So that we wrote, you even, you've even got that right here in the one minute chart. Look at this one minute chart. We're spiraling up uh, to the 45, 79.25 high. And then it's kind of used up time, but you can see the technicals are starting to weaken in the one minute chart. So I'm anticipating something like that is probably going to happen here in the Dow. Um, and I thought that if there was a short position taken here, this is the strongest index so far. And I'd rather go for the weakest index or the weakest sector. So it didn't do anything there. But at this point, I'm looking at some kind of a pullback. That's all I'm looking for right now to give me the clue that that's going to be a, a pretty sharp near-term pullback when it occurs. Because this strong leg in the, in the weekly chart going from 32,327, almost 4,000 points to the upside, is that, that's incredible. And being so close to an all-time high, I cannot ignore that that's going to become a magnet and attractor to the price if the Dow starts trading in the 36,590, 36,660 area. 
Um, that's the way I'm looking at it. All right. So that's the Dow. Now let's go to the S&P. I'm going to show this in the automated uh, support and, uh, resistance. Otherwise, I'll forget if I do it now. And look, it's just sideways from the high of 4599.39. And here you start to see some deterioration in the technicals. And the stochastic finally has gone under 80%. But that nine period, the, the, the technical indicator of last resort. And I'll be talking about all these things when I do my webinar coming up on the 20th, uh, um, coming up. I, now I can't remember if we did it on the 20th or 19th. Coming up, not this not this week, but the following week. Um, talking about the sectors, sectors that have come off the bottom, sectors that are already well off the bottom. Are they going to continue? Or have they had their move? What, what's looking? What's going to be looking good for the first part of uh, 2024? Just I want to go through those in great detail. So that's a webinar for my subscribers. Now, the other thing we're looking at here is and what technical tools will really help us uh, in assessing that. And that would include uh, looking at what we look at all the time, like the 914 period moving average. But it also include looking at the different time frames, the daily, the weekly and the monthly. So now what I'm looking at is the S&P is holding fine. It's just using up time. Is there a chance that there's a chamber stalked leg body? You know, it just doesn't meet all the criteria. It's a little mini one, yes, and that means you can have a little pop to the upside. But in the meantime, it's holding, let's just say it's holding really well. Look at the QQQ. So the QQQ uh, trading right now at, this is the index 100, trading up 3.50 at 388.56. It's had a pullback and it's really struggling. To, to really break towards the, the, the previous hour, 394.14, when I did the study of the vertical um, move with the MACD on the, uh, that was the December the 22nd, uh, November the 22nd, and then December, no, it was 11, and then 11.29. Between those four days, you saw some technical deterioration, but even here, the nine is still over the 14. So there's, internal strength and exactly at this point see I almost forgot about it I have to say that in terms of in terms of my Chapman wave was methodology up so this is not the one I wanted in terms of the dark news cloud cover just think about it we're here at recovery highs some in indexes some uh, are, are either at or close to all-time highs. Some major stocks at all-time highs or close. And the only thing that's negative right now has been that the dollar rally. So I said, I'm going to start this. That's just a kind of a warning, a little make them tiny, making a little tiny dark news cloud cover rectangle to say how it handles this over the next few days is really important. But there's no bad news sitting out there to say, Oh, the market hates whatever, whatever it is. Interest rates are coming down, even though there's a little pop today. So the dark news cloud cover, every time we had it over there, all the way from uh, November of 2022, it always resulted in a really sharp move to the downside. So I'm saying I've got just a starter of that, just an inkling that there's something there. I can define it just slightly, but not enough to say, hey, the market should turn down. So let's go to the IWM, the IWM. Let's go to the IWM. I just hit the wrong thing. IWM, as we go to the break, Dow's up to the S25 divergence there. IWM is pulling back a little bit. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Get ready, Tigers. Thursday, December 14th, Tim Ord is back to host another stellar live webinar. From 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will delve into the secret science of market tops, helping you, the viewer, with how to effectively call market tops in order to increase your success in trading. Tim Ord has developed this understanding over decades of trading and is ready to impart this knowledge on you. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Tim Ord's secret science of market tops. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Although, it's, uh, just uh, because uh, in the dam, we have a whole bunch of things going on, as well as questions that have come in. So, let me just do this. Um, in Look how long from yesterday at 4 o'clock, look how long, and this is a part of something I'll, I'll be uh, discussing just very briefly in my uh, webinar just because I know so, uh, many of you uh, do trade futures, but I just wanted to say that there's this narrow rectangle. Look how long it took when it finally broke slightly above and then it went below. And all it was doing was trading with a low of uh, 45.52 and a high of 40, 45.58. That bar, that bar at four o'clock, well, it was just before, four, yep, right at four, defined an entire evening's worth of trading in the narrowest range until it did what I usually talk about. There's a narrow rectangle. You use the midpoint line to see if it can break off. They're going to a slightly higher recovery high. And then if it takes out the low, watch out for the bounce because if it go bounces and then goes halfway into that rectangle and then holds it as support and the nine goes crosses positive, you can really have a nice move to the upside. So that happened at... Um, 10 to 5 this morning. I was up at 10 to 5. I actually I was up just a little after that. But look at this. Green, 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 green. And now we've gone to GSAS-C and the, the left side, right side price time match. And I'll be talking about that in my webinar. Went to this candle. I never expected it to do that, but I drew it in. Uh, and that was the candle of 45.82. And I had a doji. There was a doji candle in the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line we went almost to it and that line has just been hit right now outside right there bing look at that so now we get into a point of uh, that says okay maybe just watch this closely because you've raised your base of support in this to 45.75 i just wanted to do that because i do know that there are a lot of people especially in the den looking at certain numbers so the iwm has held very well it went to a peak e we were wondering whether or not it was going to show leadership as a failing sector that has become not a leading sector, but a way more positive one. And that's really what I want to be talking about in just over a week's time, because I think by then we're going to get a really good feeling. So one of the one of the characteristics, one of the aspects that I look at is what's my emotional feeling on the rally that's happened, and that's just based on what I'm hearing, what I'm looking at, what, what you know, 
uh, the, any nightly news, if, how people talk about the market, etc. And I felt that the last three to five days of uh, from about Wednesday of last week going into Monday of this week, there was a really over an emotional overbought situation in the general public. But I still think a lot of people missed the big move to the upside. So with that said, that was part of what I'm looking at as a dark news cloud cover, just to say on a shorter term basis, but also on investors intelligence from uh, what I understand, there is quite a high percentage of bulls. So that just says keep that in mind, but don't use it as your trading thing in the very short term. A lot can happen. So it's good that the IWM is at um, 185.12, up one. It says it's pushing, it's trying to hold away from the 180, 200-period exponential moving average. The first time it's actually crossed and held above it for the first five sessions, the last five sessions, I should say. That is really important. It's a good sign. So within that context, the weekly chart, we, let's wait until tomorrow's close and then we can talk about the weekly. But it is good, but the monthly chart, doesn't look good at all. So that's the IWM. Um, so what I'm looking at here is, let's go to the SMHs. So the SMH is trading right now up uh, 159.66 at 217. Uh, basically what it's saying is that um, it that red candle from yesterday gave back, but that nine period is still over the 14. So we, we've been short, I, I'd say aggressively short a small position. We took some nice profits yesterday. Um, and I think we've just got stopped out for I, I, I lowered the I raised the stop from what we had. And I put it just a tad under where we entered. So in on average, probably it's just all it's kind of a break even trade. More importantly, or maybe just a frame, yeah, I'd, I'd say break even trade. I haven't worked it out just yet. But I'm watching this very closely because if the semiconductors start, look, they've used up time from the high that was made um, in November around about the 20, oops, around about the, it was right on the 20th at 156.44, you got a peak C1, peak C2, that's slightly under it, then almost like a peak C3. So you've used up time there from what would have been a peak D, and yet you haven't gone that far down. I said 155 is really the target that I'd be looking for, and that's where we make decisions. It never got there. It went to 156.56. 150, uh, but, and the weekly chart is still strong. So emotionally, I'm saying to myself, that was a spectacular move to the upside. But if we don't, Using up time, you're using up time to digest the gains. It says there's internal strength that remains, and that's the clue for me, the nine period over the 14 period moving average. So we're watching that very closely. So now just I've got those out of the way. I want to show you gold. Uh, gold is pulling back three points at 2045. It did close above the left side uh, low. I didn't want to type it in, it got too messy. Of 2038 in the continuous contract, uh, 2038.4 on the fourth. And here it is at 2045. Um, it's just, it had a big move up. That doji, can, that chum wave reverse red Roman candle says, until it closes above the body, and that, in this case, will be the opening price of uh, 2094. This is a consolidation. So I'm looking at gold and saying, okay, a couple of things are going on. I don't want to even talk about that now. I'll talk about it tomorrow, maybe. But there are a couple of things that are going on because the spectacular move that it made from the 1948 level up to the high and then coming back down is not unusual in gold. I mean, gold can have big moves up and then whew, before you know it, big move down. Look at silver. I like them to move in parallel. And this is just saying to me, gold is in play, but we have to wait for other reasons for it to start another move to the upside. And silver sitting almost on its 200 period moving average. I want to go to uh, crude oil. Now, crude oil, um, I had said, based on my work, this, we saw that in the dollar, 100, 102 
was the level I was looking at as absolutely key support for the dollar based on my Chapman wave symmetry of a plumb line in the middle using the number of bars on the left to go to that plumb line. Sometimes it's the high, sometimes it's the cup low after the high. But in the meantime, I typed in and said that there's a chance that by the, uh, this is crude oil, that by the 15th of, somewhere around the 15th of uh, December, so that's next week, crude oil might, if it, if it breaks under the support line, this Chapman Wave Inside Track support line of, well, it depends when it is because it's a moving average, uh, 66.80, then that 65 low that was made. Multi, multi times, but I used the one on the 28th of June of 64.65. So 64 would be 65.10 to 64.30 is kind of the target that I would have if it breaks that support. I'll be back in a moment and then I'll show you automated Chapman Wave levels of support and resistance. Ho, ho, ho! It's December, Tigers. That means festivities, decorating, spending time with friends and family, and the TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. Don't miss your chance to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Once you apply your Tiger Dollars to your account, you will be able to use them for any TFNN product purchase instead of your credit card. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to purchase your Tiger Dollars. Don't miss your chance to receive up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase this holiday season. Every Tiger who purchases Tiger Dollars will also receive a complimentary TFNN Tiger mug with their purchase. Act fast, this sale ends December 17th. Happy Holiday Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. We're talking about automated Chapman Wave resistance and support levels. Look right here on the one minute. I like to just show this as examples. Look. Look at that, you've got automated one minute 4587.75 and then 4587.68, 68 because it doesn't know about quarter point moves, it goes to the exact penny. So that's the resistance automated. And then this becomes an F right here. It's almost like the Dow, where you've got your slightly higher next peak and now you're gonna make a decision. But look, the nine is still way over the 14. The MACD is turning down. Uh, the stochastics now at 84%, but 84 is still good. 
And well, look at this. If you use just this one tool, which I unfortunately <laughs> didn't do this morning, I did a little bit, but then I, I decided to try to anticipate. Don't anticipate. Look, since it crossed positive, he has a five minute chart at four, about 4.40 this morning. That green nine period moving average would have kept you in the trade to this very minute from the 45.55 ish area to 45.87, and it's still green and it's going to a leg F in the uh, five minute chart. But that, look, the stochastics at 94%, MACD is good. So it has to be a sudden, very sharp pullback that changes the technicals to negative and GSAS C in the, in the 10 minute chart. I, I, every time I, I try to anticipate like that peak D there, I thought, okay, that's good. Well, it was a nice move down, but only briefly and it never went pink. It's green. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm, I, I refrain for subscribers to say, let's start short positions, say, in the, in, in the Dow or the S&P. They're just holding too strongly. And we did that in the SMHs. Funnily enough, the SMHs are still saying to me they are very weak. <clears throat> but because this is a three times, three times short position, um, the, the move at the end of the day when it gets uh, reconfigured takes it down very sharply um, when it, over a period of a few days. So my my stop should have been lower down, but I there's no use taking a risk here. I'll see what happens. We can always get back in. This is the weaker of all the sectors and the key sectors at this particular point. But you can see the nine still hasn't gone negative. Okay, so with that said, here we go. Let's just go through, the, through uh, oh, I didn't do the TLT. Well, we'll do the TLT here. So here's gold. You can see that this uh, right here. So this is using slightly different techniques. In this case, the uh, this is the uh, standard deviation that my uh, late friend Herb did. Uh, and look, it's green. So uh, yes, prices pull back, but the internals are saying there's still strength there until it turns red and turns down. Uh, weekly chart, same thing. And the automated level says. Uh, 2045, we're, we're right there at this point, is a support level. And 204.2046, is that a C? No, 2043 in the 120-minute in the chart with 2053 resistance. But in the big picture, uh, 2161 is where we went to, and that's the resistance. The next one is up at the 2, let me just move that away, 2227 two, two, level. So I just wanted to show you these. Here we go. So now I'm going to do the TLT because the TLT is still just a tad um, today. <clears throat> but that's now support. What was resistance, 93.69, is now support and is trading at 98. Oops, is that, what is that? 95.20. It's red, so it's a little difficult to see. Yeah. And 97.62 is the automated weekly resistance. 92. 93 to 92 is very strong support. And at the very bottom, I've got 83.94 is a, a key support. And what did it actually go to? Uh, it went to, I should have remembered this, but it went to uh, 82.42. Not bad. It's 50 cents less than the automated thing. Let's look at, um, now let's go through these. INDU. The Dow, uh, automatic, automatic, Resistance 35,644. It went above it in the weekly, spiked above 35,572 in the daily, and there's a whole cluster in the monthly chart starting at 35,643, uh, 36,290, uh, and then 37,063. That we haven't got. And sometimes these things become magnets to the upside. That you're looking at it and you're saying, "Can we get there?" Well, at this particular point, uh, at this particular point, the uh, monthly charts are saying there is resistance, but it's, it's it, it could act as a magnet as well. As you go through each one, it makes the next one a magnet if it, if it isn't repelled. So that says kind of room to the top. S and P, S P X has um, let me do this. S and P. Hit the resistance right there, cancel. Um, and we've got 45, 
78, and it went high, it went to 45, 818, I believe. Is that, oh, wait, no, this is the daily. Yeah, so, so this is, it's right in a congestion area. A lot of resistance, a lot of support. 4626 is the weekly resistance, and 4633 is the monthly resistance. And the daily has 4533 as near-term support, and then 4524. So uh, going through these, I'm saying it, it makes sense that we're kind of stalling here. Look, the um, QQQs had so much resistance at the 391 to 397 area, and now it's pulled back. Some is trading at 389, and 376 is key support, and 387 and 399 are the weekly resistance. 398 is the monthly, and the short term 382. So I want you to just show you that <clears throat> looking at my automated levels, and actually I, I use so many other techniques that this is something I just kind of glance at to say, where, where are we? It just says, you can understand that a breather at this particular point is really important. Then I was asked if I would go through, yeah, stocks like Boeing, so let's do this. Yes, Boeing. Leg, you see what I'm saying? We've gotten to a peak E if there's no new height, new recovery high today in Boeing. That's the daily. This is the same thing with that single leg A up, about to challenge the last major high of 243.10, maybe the week of the 4th of August. So, <coughs> excuse me, in the daily chart, you've got on balance volume overbought. But it's not really pulling back. And the stochastics at 95, that's a great sign. Let's just go through them as I've written them down. Um, IBM. One of my favorites that I didn't get in this last big move up, and we chose Microsoft instead. But look at this. Peak E, and now it's at three days of just stalling there. And this could be an instant restart, but I'm calling it E for now. Leg E in the uh, weekly. <clears throat> And the monthly has made a recovery high. The last time it was in this area was back there. That was January of 2018, hit a high of 163. And here it is trading at 160.75. So I wanted to go through a number of charts to say, <coughs> excuse me, the daily charts are a little overbought. The weekly charts, are holding their fantastic move up over the past five, six weeks. That's really impressive. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Tim, this is our. We'll continue looking at these with many of the stocks people ask for. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Mark Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks, just look at this. The E mini, and I'm using this as an example because it's the same that we're seeing in the daily. It makes no difference what time frame. Look, makes a little mini top here at 4588.50, right? Uh, it, which is a fib number, actually. And then it starts to turn down, but you've had to wait for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is the 11th bar. You see the S? This is where you might see the 9 period moving average turn down. And then you've got this automated 4582 support to take out. And if it does that, then you look at the weekly, the weekly, the middle chart is a five minute chart. And that's made a two doji candle peak, peaks at the top. I just want to see what that fib number is right there. I think that's a, oops, open up. There it is. Oh, I have to go all the way back. Let me just squeeze it. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Yeah, that is, oh, that goes back to the, oh, I've got to keep squeezing, huh? <laughs> there we go. Another one, another two. Oh, that just goes back too far. It goes back to a few days ago. Yeah, it does. It goes back to a few days ago. Right there. Oh, there it is. It goes to that peak E top that was made at, at um, 13. So that's one o'clock on the 1st of December um, at 4,000, oh, 4,607.75. I remember that because I had short, I got a short of 4,603.50 for a short period of time. Yeah, I remember that. So that is, in fact, a 70, 76 right there, percent uh, resistance level. Uh, we'll see what happens, all right? But in the meantime, I'm just saying to you that I like if I can, if if I follow my rules, the rules say, wait for the nine period to confirm that is turned down. And the wider the space between the two moving averages, the nine and the 14, the greater the chances are it will accelerate to the downside. When you've got an automated support level like you do right here, it says it's going to take a little bit unless it smashes right through it immediately. It's going to take a little bit for it to do that. But right now, and with a little doji candle to G-C in the 10-minute uh, chart, this is where you'd look. Now, I'm, just, I'm applying the same thing to where we are uh, in, the, in the general market. Look, here is the I, yes, IBM. It's holding steady. And the 90 is way over the 14. So it'll take days or a very sharp sudden move down. Maybe tomorrow's the jobs number or whatever it is coming out tomorrow. Maybe that does it. But it's going to need... This dark news sitting across the market and over sitting in the overhang with this cloud uh, just ready to pour down, just to hail. Everything has to come down for it to really change what we're looking at right now, which is a high level consolidation. So let's just keep, I'm now going to run through them. So CRM, so IBM is at a peak E. CRM. Is at a peak here, 263.43, digesting the gains. Um, Caterpillar, 
I mean, these are Dow stocks. I, I, Caterpillar, peak E, pulling back a little bit. Um, Honeywell, an all rounder. It's just everywhere, Honeywell. Peak, a leg after the upside. Could be an instant restart, but it's just starting to sl slow down a little bit on this upside move. Uh, but it is at an F. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh, Triple M. What a nice move Triple M has had from the bottom. Well, it's stalling at the 200 period moving average at a peak E. Nothing negative yet, but it's stalling right there, hugging the 200 period moving average. Um, so I did that, did that, did that. Oh, CME. This is one that I almost, oh, I can't believe it. Out of all of these, this is the one that I said, you know, this is the one that could be a short. I even looked at a put option. And then I thought, ah, oh, don't spread yourself too thinly here for your subscribers. Although I think they might have loved it. Um, it went from, I saw this intraday yesterday. So it went from about 216 to today's low of 20, um, just a 209. And here it is at 211. But this is interesting. This is a CME group, uh, Mercantile Exchange. So, um, and, and even if you look at the brokers, look at this, Schwab. Schwab has gone to a leg E. This could be a peak E, a little quick, very quick D to E. When you get a quick D to E, either you're going to get an instant restart or you're going to get a bit of a pullback. Not a major sell, just a bit of a pullback. So I don't, I don't have to go through them all, but I do want to go through um, AZO. Yes, AZO is AutoZone holding... Almost at all time highs. <clears throat> Syntas, this is the uh, overalls, uniform rentals, holding from that peaky, gone sideways using time rather than price. What do I mean by time rather than price? I mean this right here. We've been talking about it live, and there it is. What did I say? The resistance at 4582 uh, is there. So it's the support. And the nine period did go uh, pink, but the wider the move, look how wide the gap is, the aperture between green and, and black when it was going up, the E-mini, back at about 10.15. And now look, it's still narrow. So to get it wide, you have to have price decline. You gotta break these levels that become support, but they'll become targets if there's one more pullback, and then probably you will pierce that. But look at this time that it's taking, and look at the green nine-period moving average in the weekly. So uh, I keep saying weekly, but it's the five-minute chart. I think of them as one, five, ten is daily, weekly, monthly. So look, isn't that? I mean, would you have thought that after all this, uh, from the ten twenty, I remember ten twenty to to twelve forty-five, one o'clock. Usually that's another phase of the day. And look at this, you've gone sideways for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two. For about thirty-five bars, thirty-five minutes, it's gone sideways. All right, I just wanted to show you that there's certain tactical aspects that can really help you in terms of timing. So I did want to go through that. Let's look at Nvidia. So Nvidia has now been talked down because Advanced Micro Devices has got uh, a new chip coming out. But you know what? It's for next year. So anything that happens right now, you're anticipating next year. I think that's a little bit carried away. And that's the reason why I say I think the SMHs are still kind of struggling here. We're going to be watching them closely. In the meantime, back at the ranch, here's your, here's your NVIDIA up 8 at 463. And Advanced Micro Devices, which is the big challenger, is up big, up 8 at 126.28. So once again, what I'm looking at is within sectors, you've got some stocks. It's actually just a handful that have really been lifting up certain sectors. So with that said, I, gotta, I want to see if there's a question. I think there's there are two questions that have come in. Could I look at FANG? Yep, F-A-N-G, F-A-N-G, FANG, and that is a diamond back. Uh, you know that I used to have these all notated trading right on the 200 period exponential moving out. All right, we'll be back in a moment. Dow's up 28, SP's up 30. 
and we still haven't broken that uh, 4582 level. Isn't that amazing? I'll be back in a moment. That's a chat. I can take this out. Ready, Tigers? Thursday, December 14th, Tim Ord is back to host another stellar live webinar. From 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will delve into the secret science of market tops, helping you, the viewer, with how to effectively call market tops in order to increase your success in trading. Tim Ord has developed this understanding over decades of trading and is ready to impart this knowledge on you. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Tim Ord's secret science of market tops. TFNN, educating investors. Ho, ho, ho! It's December, Tigers. That means festivities, decorating, spending time with friends and family, and the TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. Don't miss your chance to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Once you apply your Tiger Dollars to your account, you will be able to use them for any TFNN product purchase instead of your credit card. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to purchase your Tiger Dollars. Don't miss your chance to receive up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase this holiday season. Every Tiger who purchases Tiger Dollars will also receive a complimentary TFNN Tiger mug with their purchase. Act fast, this sale ends December 17th. Happy Holiday Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So now it's starting to weaken. Look at this. It's gone for about 40 minutes in a sideways range. Now it's starting to weaken a little bit, weaken a little bit, but it hasn't weakened yet. And look at that nine still holding in the five-minute chart. All right, question came in about um, FANG. Fang is diamond back energy. Um, I I would prefer to do something tomorrow. I want to do a little bit more work. It's sitting on the 200 period moving average. I don't think I would. I wouldn't touch it right now. It gapped down. And it hasn't actually been able to go above the high or below the low. So it's sitting on the 200 period. I think it's stuck here for a little while within a trading range. So I, I wouldn't do anything. A question about yes, I did do the crude oil, and I have a target of. 64, 65 to 64 by December the 15th. I don't know if that's going to work, but it worked for the dollar. Oh, I didn't even do the dollar today. Look, so the dollar, the dollar is 
down quite sharply, down 39 ticks at 103.79. But that was my target. It went just under it, but to the day. And that was my target right there of 102.94. It went to 102.47. All right, and now it's right, stalled at the 200 period moving average. Look at the USD JPY. Uh, and they usually go in the same direction. But look at this, plummets. Right, right to the 200 period moving average of 144. And if you look at the, oh, that's the bell. The bell is wrong. Sorry about that. So we'll do a lot more tomorrow. I've got my webinar coming up, um, in, in, not this week coming, but the next week. Check it out. It should be really timing wise. It could be just great for some of the pullback would be to succeed and new buying coming in. And uh, stay tuned for.